The Armenian story is filled with Central Valley people making life-saving sacrifices. I journey to Armenia with Valley doctors on a medical mission of mercy. The Valley's Armenia Mission of Mercy, presented by Fashion Furniture and Tri-California Home Inspections. They come across the globe, leave their families, leave their work, leave their income, and treat people in a, in a far part of the, of the world. Fresno area doctors embark on a two-week medical mission to the country of Armenia, bringing help, guidance, and hope to many. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Baroujian. In late September, photographer Kevin Mahan and I returned to Armenia, my fourth visit and Kevin's third. We accompanied a medical mission coordinated by the Honorary Consulate of the Republic of Armenia in Fresno. The team of about 30 included doctors and experts of a variety of specialties from several Fresno area hospitals. For many, this was their fourth mission trip to Armenia, but for some, it was their first visit. Armenia is a country in need. There's poverty in rural areas. Some people live in pain because they can't afford to visit a doctor or have no access. The mission offered free services. We followed a week of their two-week mission, and it all began in Armenia's capital city. The water dances at night and flows freely during the day. Armenia is a landlocked country with Turkey and Azerbaijan to the west and east and Georgia and Iran to the north and south. Yet the people here say water is abundant, as is the warm spirit. This was the welcome for the Fresno Medical Mission at Zavartnats Airport in Yerevan, Armenia's capital city. Children performing traditional dance to traditional music. What a warm welcome. What a way to welcome a medical mission team. They're welcoming a 30-member team from Fresno, led by Honorary Consul Berj Apkarian. It includes dentists, surgeons, specialists, and experts who will fan out across this small country, providing free and much-needed care. About three million people live in Armenia, one million of them in Yerevan, the rest primarily in rural villages and towns. Tourism is encouraged, and for those of Armenian heritage, there's an obvious draw. Take American money, U.S. money? Yes. Okay, so, okay. Give her $100. The first time I came, I came, my once-in-a-lifetime trip to Armenia, and now I'm coming back almost every year. Fresno Pastor Ara Gokuzian is leading a tour group on his 15th trip to Armenia. They happen to be here at the same time as the medical mission. First stop, the Vernissage, an outdoor market. 12,000 uh, uh, American money. Do, do you dollar? Have, yeah, dollar. My family isn't from this part of Armenia. We're from historic Western Armenia. But you come here and it resonates with you. Even if you don't want it to move you, it moves you. For tourists, Armenia is a bargain. A dinner with drinks costing a fraction of what we pay in the U.S., less than $10. But poverty is widespread. 70 years of Soviet rule that ended in 1991 took a toll on the economy. Unemployment overall is at 18 and a half percent. Many can't afford what we might take for granted, like a visit to the dentist or the doctor. Our goal is to reach out to the underserved population and who do not have the means uh, to reach out and access care. The Fresno medical team will do what they can for two weeks, offering help flowing freely like the dancing waters in Republic Square. Planning a mission of this magnitude takes months and months. Organizers had been working since April to secure the local team and coordinate with Armenia's Ministry of Health, as well as hospitals and clinics and doctors there. Once in Armenia, we watched as mission organizers dispatched team members to locations around the country. Dr. Vache Vasilian closed down his Fresno dental practice to serve on the mission. He's one of the primary organizers. It takes lots of time. It's need, this is not the one person's like uh, job to do it. And as you see, each group is going different place to coordinate the, the bus, to make sure they are there, make sure to get them. Each one has it 
translator. Translators were key since many of the mission members are not Armenian and could not speak the language. Mission members were busy from the get-go at their first stop. They screened and treated dozens of patients at a village clinic. Many took advantage of the opportunity to see a mission doctor at no cost. One million people live in Armenia's capital of Yerevan. It's a big city with lots of traffic and restaurants and pedestrians. But outside the city, a different view. It's village life, where the pace is slow, jobs are scarce, and word of a medical mission from Fresno offering free care is a big draw. Six-year-old Garin and seven-year-old Kevort came with their aunt to the Berg Health Care Center in the village of Karaket. They lined up with dozens of others to meet mission doctors like ear, nose, and throat specialist Dr. Brian Tonkinson. Probably tonsil adenoid for him. Yeah. Does he s snore? most disappointed when I'm not working so and I was a little concerned when we came over that there might not be business for me. Plenty of business for him and for dentist Narita Leong and oral surgeon Dr. Bernard Carrion. They hit the ground running seeing patient after patient in need. Most of the patients I would see would have very large cavities that are non-restorable and they have to be extracted. They were on a roll until the only dental chair at the clinic broke. No light, no suction, no water. Mission team biotech expert David Maheno stepped in to help. As they come here, they see doctors, they work with less of latest technology, less of instruments, less of uh, all the means that it, it requires they become much more creative in providing care. Only wear the socks. Okay. Don't match. Vascular surgeon Dr. Sami Ekbalye used an interpreter and a hand-drawn diagram to talk to his patients. So what she needs to do is that we need to give her these compression stockings. She's got to get them, wear them up to the knee only. No computer, no records, just old school medicine. Kevork and Godin eventually find their way to team pediatrician Dr. Garane Lepegian. Kevork has special needs, a diagnosis difficult for families to treat. The problem is there's no school for him and he can't go to normal school and there's no special school. They tell him to go to special so he's at home. So Basically, he's not getting any services to improve. She sent him for child development screening by mission team members in another room. The patients making the rounds here instead of the doctors. In four hours at the Berg Clinic, mission doctors screened more than 100 patients. They scheduled more than 30 surgeries and the dentists pulled 35 teeth. Still to come. It's a busy but aging hospital built when Armenia was a Soviet republic, but thousands of patients rely on it for their medical needs. Now they're getting some help from local doctors. The Valley's Armenia Mission of Mercy, presented by Fashion Furniture and Tri-California Home Inspections. It may not look like much, but this hospital, built when Armenia was under Soviet rule, provides countless surgeries and services to thousands of villagers near the town of Ashtarak, just miles away from the capital of Yerevan. Early in the medical mission, doctors from Fresno began performing surgeries, but they worked under conditions much different than what they're used to here in the U.S. An ambulance heads out on a call. The year this vehicle went into service is anyone's guess. This is Ashtarak Medical Center in a town about an hour northwest of the capital city. It was built in Soviet times and it seems to be showing its age. When I came here in Armenia the first time, when you go outside of the bigger cities specifically, it's almost like taking its core in history. This is year two on the mission team for surgeon Bobby Egbalye. He was so moved by participating last year, he brought his brother Sammy, also a surgeon, this year. It's very interesting how limited they are at certain things. They're wonderful at a lot of things, and with the limited resources that they have, I'm actually learning from them. The hospital and clinic serve 60,000 people a year, with about 2,200 surgeries or procedures performed annually. The visit from mission doctors helps ease the burden. They get to see the new techniques and they get to learn the new expertise coming from the doctors. 
and it's very helpful to them. Fresno obstetrician and gynecologist Dr. Amanda Reeve was the first to perform surgery at Ashtarac. So I would probably use what this around one of the ovaries um, to make a little... She was joined by a local surgeon to remove a large ovarian cyst from a patient using a technique doctors here had not tried. The materials, the, the instruments they had, the way that they go about doing things um, made me feel like it was out of a World War II movie. The cyst was successfully removed. In the U.S., the tissue would be examined for cancer, but here it is not. Dr. Reeve says the experience is one she won't ever forget. But it'll make me maybe a little more able to think outside the box uh, and understand that there are people doing that every day. Meantime, the vintage ambulance has returned. Patients unloaded, while others wait in line to be next on the surgery table. Another busy day at Ashtarac Medical Center today, welcoming some guest doctors to help lighten the load. Now, something I noticed in the hospital that we no longer see, smoking cigarettes is still allowed. One of the Fresno surgeons told me 30 to 40 percent of the Armenian population are active smokers, which, of course, leads to a host of health problems. Coming up, at eight years old, he dreams of playing ball outside with his friends, but a serious heart condition is holding him back. When Dikran exerts himself as he, get, and as he gets older, it gives symptoms like an ischemia, which is like a heart attack. A life-saving surgery that Dikran and his family are thankful for. The Valley's Armenia Mission of Mercy, presented by Fashion Furniture and Tri-California Home Inspections. The story of eight-year-old Digran is memorable. A little boy with a hole in his heart got a second chance at life. His family couldn't afford to come to the U.S. for surgery, so Central Valley doctors went to him. We got the chance to witness their amazing work. This is the heartbeat of an eight-year-old boy. The heartbeat of Digran Manassian, who can only dream of playing soccer with his friends. A congenital heart condition, a hole in an artery supplying blood to his heart, is preventing that. When Dikran exerts himself as he get, and as he gets older, it gives symptoms like an ischemia, which is like a heart attack. Fresno pediatrician Dr. Gardene Lepegian first examined Dikran during last year's medical mission. Dikran's mom, I think, she's the inspiration. Uh, she said, my kids condition is complicated, he will need the surgery to survive. She says the family couldn't afford to bring Digran to the U.S. for surgery. So this year, the mission brought the surgeon to them, pediatric interventional cardiologist Dr. Carl Owada of Fresno. It's the same routine. <laughs> Dr. Awada works side by side with an Armenian cardiologist from North Marash Medical Center in Yerevan. They used a catheter to try and plug the hole in Digran's heart. Well, this kid has got a big old fistula, and it's huge, and it connects to the left atrium. So this is dumping into here from the aorta. They've got coils. Tornadoes, so they just kind of go in and essentially plug it up. It's tedious, agonizing to watch. After three hours, the challenging surgery is done. The plug is in place with not quite the fit that doctors had hoped. Where this device is sitting and the way this extra connection was uh, formed, the device is partially covering one of the main arteries that feed the blood supply to the heart. Dr. Awada says time will tell if the surgery is a success. The family is hopeful, thankful, and relieved. As for Digran, the next day he moved from ICU to a regular patient room. You say, hi, America. How are you? A little shy around the camera, but a typical kid just the same. Okay. okay sure. An eight-year-old boy with a hole in his heart, now stealing the hearts of a doctor and a whole medical mission team from thousands of miles away. Dr. Awada says he came to Armenia in remembrance of a patient and friend who was Armenian and recently passed away after undergoing heart surgery. He says he hopes to continue making pilgrimages to Armenia in remembrance of him. While mission team doctors fanned out in Armenian cities and villages to screen and treat patients, 
There was also a focus on Armenia's most vulnerable residents, children with developmental disabilities. Many end up in orphanages because there is no help for families to take care of them. Parents are sometimes even encouraged to give up their children. Mission members Marion Carrion and Lilith Azadorian work to improve education and therapies for these special children. So we've been going out into these very tiny villages, into the clinics, um, doing screening on the children and also teaching the staff there how to look more carefully at children's development. I mean, we only see that this work can grow and, and really make a much more sustainable impact in these communities where there is very little resources and supports for families. This is Marion's fourth year on the mission, Lilith's second. This year, both say they noticed families were more open to talk about their children with special needs, and they also say they were happy to see screenings for developmental delays starting much earlier. The miracle of birth. A Fresno doctor and wife team have devoted two weeks for the past four years to help that miracle unfold in Armenia. Plus, a generous donation by a Fresno nonprofit is helping to better serve women and babies. We'll look at a newly renovated birthing center. The Valley's Armenia Mission of Mercy, presented by Fashion Furniture and Tri-California Home Inspections. You could go to Hawaii and lay on a beach for, for two weeks and stare at your spouse, um, or you could hand her a baby in the operating room. The Miracle of Birth, an OBGYN from Fresno and his wife spend two weeks in Armenia helping make miracles together. It's an annual two-week adventure they look forward to every year. Hello, good morning. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Birthdays are celebrated most every day at the Agorian Mother and Child Birthing Center outside of Gumri, Armenia. It's a 20-year-old facility catering to women from the surrounding area. And it's the two-week home away from home for Fresno OBGYN Dr. Jeff Thomas and his wife Heidi. How many deliveries have you done? This is just number three. We caught up with them early in the mission, just in time to see Dr. Thomas help a young mother through her natural birth. No, no anesthesia. No? No. There's no anesthesia. After she delivered the first time. Okay. This is the Thomas's fourth medical mission in Armenia. They've clearly had an impact here. Their pictures lined the walls. At the end of their two weeks, both say they leave with as much as they give. You just leave here with a, a sense of recognition of why you chose to practice medicine in the first place. Um, and it kind of uh, grounds you and brings back that grassroots appeal to taking care of patients. I love to see the smiles on all the mom's faces when they see their baby for the first time and when they have successful breastfeeding for the first time. That's very rewarding. The Thomases work with Armenian doctors and staff. Dr. Thomas performing deliveries and surgeries, while Heidi reinforces Western care techniques where moms hold and bond with their newborns. There is a language barrier, so Fresno State student Ani Akizian is their translator. Jeff and Heidi aren't just doctors that come in, they are family here, and I feel like family here too. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! A family working together as new families in Armenia are created. Fresno has left a permanent mark on the Agorian Birthing Center near Gumri in other ways as well. The Fresno chapter of the Armenian Relief Society, which is an international organization, provided the funding for this modern surgical room. $25,000 was donated for the project to better serve the women of Gumri and nearby villages. We have furnished the surgical room with the Armenian Relief Society last year. We brought a new modern surgical table. We replaced the old sterilizer and we brought a, a laparoscopic surgery, a complete power. The Armenian Relief Society built the birthing clinic in the late 1980s after a very strong earthquake killed thousands of people and left the region devastated. Now with the update, courtesy of the Fresno ARS, the clinic and its doctors and staff can continue to provide the best care in the years to come. And still to come, it's a gift that's leaving a lasting impact. Fresh uh, flooring, uh, the, uh, the walls, and two brand new uh, labor and delivery tables. A donation made by a Fresno man that's helping to revamp another older facility. 
the Valley's Armenia Mission of Mercy, presented by Fashion Furniture and Tri-California Home Inspections. The medical mission is all about giving back. It's a selfless act for these doctors, and it's leaving a lasting impact in many small rural towns. We witnessed two incredible acts of generosity, gifts from Fresno to Armenia. The main thing was to serve uh, humanity. A 30-member medical mission team in Armenia, Fresno area doctors of all specialties with one purpose in mind. Part of our, our mission, not is just to come to Armenia, but as doctors, we feel that we need to give part of our time to humanity. For two weeks, they offered free medical care to Armenia's medically underserved, screening, treating, and healing. Gifts from Fresno with a lasting impact. Like this newly dedicated labor and delivery room at a hospital in the town of Ashtarak. It was paid for by a donation from Fresno resident Maddie Matoyan, a noticeable update for this decades old facility that serves thousands every year. Fresh uh, flooring, uh, the, uh, the walls, and two brand new uh, labor and delivery tables. Certainly we have many challenges and hopefully down the line in the future we're able to renovate the other parts and modernize them as well. In the city of Masis there's a new addition at the medical center there. A brand new renovated ophthalmology lab donated by Dr. Garo Kachikian of Fresno and his wife Nune who was born in Armenia. Her mother was the ophthalmologist at this hospital for more than 30 years. I'm assuming she's looking down now and smiling with her big, huge, beautiful, kind smile right now and saying thank you. We always thought about helping Armenia in some way to give it back. You know, it's not always to take. We have to give back. It's a mission with a purpose, providing humanitarian care from Fresno to Armenia for now and beyond. And these renovations are significant in many ways. They improve services, of course, for patients, but they also allow hospitals to focus their limited resources on other important needs. For most, family is everything, and getting to experience the medical mission with family was significant. Coming up, we'll introduce you to Surgeon Brothers, who got to operate side by side. The Valley's Armenia Mission of Mercy, presented by Fashion Furniture and Tri-California Home Inspections. They're a family on a mission a mission to help. Some doctors who served in past medical missions are now sharing their special experience with family. As with most cultures, in Armenia, family is everything. Communities poor financially are rich in other ways, and the medical mission team from Fresno noticed. Oh, I fell in love with Armenia. I think the culture is amazing. The people are wonderful people, very welcoming, very family-oriented. Surgeon Bobby Egbalye served on the mission team last year. He was so moved by the need and impact, his brother, Surgeon Sammy Egbalye, joined the team this year. They even operated together. But being able to now take that as individuals and put it together, it's really an enriching experience. We uh, learn from each other. We've yeah. always learned that. The brothers were not the only family members who donated their time. Internist Dr. Ara Sagamonian brought his daughter and Fresno State student Olivia for his third mission trip and put her to work. She asked to come with me. I couldn't say no, and she has to do some work, so she has to, she has to contribute with something. Olivia took notes for her dad. There are no computers here. She says her first trip to Armenia has been eye-opening. There's not as many luxuries here that there are in Fresno, Yeah. so that makes me appreciate living in Fresno more. In the city of Gumri, dentist Dr. Ron Sani of Fresno worked with his wife Michelle. See how I'm pushing? Yes. Move your finger more. Okay. His focus, screening children in Armenia's orphanages, many developmentally disabled. You kind of have a rock. You have somebody that you know you can depend on and you train to do certain procedures. Sometimes we have a lot of help in the clinic when we're working on patients and then sometimes not so much. It was a life-changing experience coming here, how positive they are, how loving they are. I love to watch families here, how close they are together, laughing. Families serving together in a place far from the comforts of home, helping other families live a healthier and happier life. 
By the way, the Igbalye brothers say they want to return to Armenia next year and bring a third brother who's also a doctor. The country of Armenia filled with beauty and history and coming up, we'll take you inside the historic Gegard Monastery that's become a major tourist attraction. And the Fresno medical mission team visited the iconic genocide memorial to pay their respects to the 1.5 million Armenians killed during the 1915 genocide. The Valley's Armenia Mission of Mercy, presented by Fashion Furniture and Tri-California Home Inspections. Attending church on Sunday in Armenia is significant. It's a day filled with faith, family, and friends. During our trip, we attended a service at an ancient monastery. It's a spiritual experience that draws tourists from around the world. It's hard to know what's stronger, the temptation or the hard sell. We're at Gehart Monastery. This is located about an hour outside of Yerevan. We're here on a Sunday. This is a major tourist attraction in Armenia. It's safe to say this World Heritage Site, founded in the 4th century, draws thousands every year. But before stepping inside the ancient stone walls, you have to get past the village vendors first. These are local okay. delicacies. Yes, so are, these are all like local souvenirs people make and sell, and this is how they make their livings. It's like bread, uh, sweet bread. Thank you. And they, these breads are very special. Like Everybody comes to Kerat to buy it. We committed to buying a loaf on the way out, but first up the cobblestone path to try our hands at the wishing wall. Make a video. Look. Wish. Wish. If your stone stays on a ledge, you get your wish. Everybody comes here more because they have a wish, and it's like a they put in their minds, if we come here, our wish is going to come true. The monastery was partially carved out of a mountainside. A sacred stream with what many believe are healing waters runs inside. The stone walls make for magnificent sounds, enhancing the spirit of the church service underway. <laughs> in there did you have a feeling that there was something strong in there very you feel a, defi yeah. a definite spiritual presence there's the spirit of the world's first christian nation since 301 a.d drawing tourists and the faithful for centuries to look wish and pray Armenia is a country of rich history and culture, and part of that history includes the tragic events of the 1915 genocide. Memories of the genocide still haunt Armenians worldwide. And each year, the Fresno Medical Mission takes time to pay their respects at Armenia's genocide memorial. Armenians take pride in their resilience. Fresno-born author, the late William Saroyan, even wrote about it, saying, I should like to see any power of the world destroy this race. But there was an attempt to do that. In 1915, Armenians were targeted in their homeland by Ottoman Turks. The Armenian genocide left one and a half million men, women, and children dead. It was the first genocide of modern times. <laughs> In 1967, on a hill overlooking Yerevan, the Armenian Genocide Memorial, or Tsitsenakabert, was built. Twelve slabs surrounding the eternal flame depict the 12 lost provinces. A 144-foot spire represents Armenia's rebirth. Fresno's medical mission team visited to pay their respects. Well, for us, it was a, an important step to pay our respect for the innocent people who perished. Honorary Consul Berj Apkarian brings his mission teams here every year. And you see the non-Armenians being touched even more than Armenians because for them it's so strange to see man's inhumanity toward men. Not being Armenian, not being a part of this, um, it was. It allows me to put myself in the feet and the and the place of the people were coming to hell. The most striking thing that I did remember was that it was not acknowledged um, by Turkey, uh, primarily, and uh, by some other countries. The United States has yet to officially recognize the Armenian genocide, but millions have and do. It's resilience that can't be denied. As Saroyan dared, go ahead, destroy Armenia, See if you can do it. 
when we come back. A huge delivery for Armenia sent all the way from Fresno, the local nonprofit with a mission of saving lives. The Valley's Armenia Mission of Mercy, presented by Fashion Furniture and Tri-California Home Inspections. There was a very special delivery to Armenia in advance of the medical mission. A 60-foot shipping crate loaded with thousands of dollars in donated medical equipment and supplies. 20-year Fresno nonprofit Medical Ministries International sends medical supplies to countries in need, much of it donated from local hospitals. We were there in June as one crate was loaded for Armenia. We were blessed to have a birthing table here. It will be the first really nice one that they will ever have. We're sending incubators, we're sending warmers. The healthcare environment is rather primitive and sometimes even the smallest things um, that they don't have can be very, very instrumental in how they deliver care. The crate was shipped overseas this summer and arrived in Armenia in September in advance of the medical mission. And joining me now is the Honorary Consul of the Republic of Armenia in Fresno, Berge Apkarian. Berge, thank you for being here. And we're going to start off with an update on that packing crate in Armenia. It's cleared customs. I know it took time, but it's time for us to distribute and make things happen. So they cleared the customs this week? Yes. And the, all those important supplies will get to where they need to go? Absolutely. Okay, that's good to know. Now, I, Kevin and I were with the medical mission for one week of the two-week mission. What happened in week two? What did we miss? Our physicians continued their hard work in the Republic of Artsakh, and they worked very diligently with a maximum capacity to reach out every patient they could, uh, they could touch lives. So it was very, very productive week. Again, at clinics and hospitals Clinic there. Clinic and hospitals, um, pediatric and adult, everywhere. And I know they had an opportunity to meet someone very important in the country. Yes, they met with the President of Republic of Artsakh and the President was very grateful very gracious for their hard work and he meant it and he received them with a warm heart. Okay, that must have been an exciting moment. Now this was year four for the medical mission yes. team from Fresno. There's going to be a year five, I know that. You're already sure. working on it. What are the goals next year and will we will some of the same doctors that went this year go back? Absolutely, 95 percent, if it's not 99 percent, there will be there. Yeah. Our per predominant work will be, and I started it before we left, uh, the mission uh, to renovate the surgical suite, the entire suite uh, of uh, the regional hospital in uh, Ashtarak region. Which we saw earlier in yes. the show. And yes. they, they, it does need some renovation. Absolutely. And with the help of our community, we will make it happen. How, how much would something like that cost? Um, estimated roughly around $350,000. So that's quite an undertaking. I know we saw some of the, the renovations in, in, in some of the other locations around Armenia. That would be significant. And so how do you go about, this is through donations. The whole mission is supported by donations. Uh, absolutely. What I, can the community do to help? I have no doubt that this community has stood up during the past four years next to the medical mission, next to the consulate, next to me. I have no doubt that they will stand up again and together we can make things happen. If someone would like to send a check or make a donation, where Absolutely. can they send they it? Absolutely. They can make a tax-deductible donation to Central Valley Community Foundation, mm -hmm. Armenia Exchange Fund, and, and we will take all the dollars and distribute it very effective fashion. Berge, thank you so much for allowing us to join you and witness the amazing work that you've been doing in Armenia. It Pleasure's was a true all ours. honor for me, and I'm, I know I speak for Kevin. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. And we'll be right back. The Valley's Armenia Mission of Mercy, presented by Fashion Furniture and Tri-California Home Inspections. I do want to thank, again, Honorary Consul Berge Apkarian for allowing us to join the medical mission. It was an experience we won't soon forget, and there's no doubt it will leave a lasting impact on the doctors who took part. When I come here, I love doing my surgeries, patients, especially the people who are in need to do those surgeries that they cannot afford. I say I'm blessed, we are blessed that we are living in a country, such a country like the United States, where we have the chance to help the people who are in need and that makes me I have no words to express it like yeah
Down there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to definitely miss the food, <laughs> the fresh fruits, um, the vegetables, the, the warmth of the people. Oh, I fell in love with Armenia. I think the culture is amazing. The people are wonderful people, very welcoming, very family oriented. Um, when you make friends here, they're your friends for life. You're already talking about coming back next year. Yeah. What are you? <laughs> I won't be surprised if they go back. Thank you for joining us. And if you'd like to learn more about this medical mission and future missions and how you can contribute, go to our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Good night.